Hey, what's up? So I start off by doing a little concept art before I start blasting you all away with some 3D. Boom Ship is a triple decker, so I start off by making it feel like he could live, work, and play in it, also while traveling. Hence the steering wheel and the driver's seat in the front. Hey, Nomad Sculpt, I love this program. I start by building the walls. I try to align it with the exterior of his ship. <laughs> There's no reference, I don't know how well I'm aligning it, but yeah, just trust me. Lazy Mills must think she's some sort of genius. Yeah, she does. I actually advise you to use reference. The exterior of his ship is already pre-designed. Sorry, didn't record it. Wasn't feeling too confident in my 3D skills enough to record it. For now, this is just me getting my ideas out. And here I go with the floors. Oh my goodness. About time. From the initial designs that I have in storyboards that I've done for BTX, I have always had the driver's and passenger's area kind of lower than the living quarters. So, uh, and that would be on the first floor, the top floor, really. I am, for the most part, a 2D artist, so 3D is not my usual language. However, Nomad Sculpt has basically opened the door for me to kind of play around. So I am in no way a professional 3D artist, but <laughs> Who knows, maybe I can call myself that uh, this year. Huh? And lo and behold, the almighty Lazy Mills decided that she needed reference. Here we are, reference. <laughs> Sometimes you need it, you know? We can't all be geniuses. Throw in some of that old quick scale reference. A fake human in the shape of an orb. Or a little disc thingy. For the purpose of this video, this is a human. Aw, shiz, windows and doors. So I'll just show you how I did it. In this bit um, I use the boolean tool um, you, well it's something that's uh, I sort of knew how to do in in blender here it's a lot easier um, I'll show you in a second 
But for now, I just want to get the general shape of the windows and the doors uh, so that we can move forward. So I did a bullion. I think that's what the way you say it. I don't know. I'm just saying things. All right, bullion time. All right, here is how I did it. First, select all of the objects involved. Take one object, overlap it into another object, and hide one of those objects. And then you merge voxels. Depending on what shape you want or how much of the object is obscured by the other object that is hidden uh you might get some interesting shapes so try it out and nomad's cult this i just placed a bunch of boxes in in the wall i selected the boxes and the walls and then hid the boxes and then merged voxels and so all the hidden boxes kind of like made their their shape in the uh in the walls after you merge
Before you export any object to Procreate, you have to un, uh, UV unwrap it. So that means that you have to go through each of the objects or layers and by selecting them each individually, you can't select multiple ones, but you can select them individually, then you UV unwrap. On my first attempt, the export was low resolution. So when I started to draw and procreate, you could see all the pixelations and all of the line art that I was doing on top of the objects. Some of them weren't as pixelated, but for now it was just not working. Look at it, oh God, it's disgusting. Doesn't it make you wanna throw up? So back to Nomad Sculpt I go. Like I said earlier, you're going to start raising the voxels um, and the resolution of the, each mesh uh, or each object. That means just going through, going through the layers and, and picking, selecting the ones that, you know, will need uh, a higher resolution 
For that, all you have to do is go to voxel, remeshing, and change the resolution. And that's it for part one of my iPad Procreate Nomad Sculpt tutorial. And hopefully it helped. Um, please let me know in the chat. Uh, I can probably answer some questions at some point in my life. Uh, don't expect it. I am super busy being a director and it's very hard for me to even put out these kind of videos. But um, I do hope that this is helpful to someone. Uh, and if it is, share it, love it, I don't know, do your thing. Later.